Stereotyping occurs all the time in the media and different types of stereotypes are used depending on what type of media we're talking about. Films, for example, will often have characters that quickly act as a shortcut to meaning using stereotypes that we can quickly understand. And it's, this is easily understandable. Films are only 100, 120 minutes long and haven't got time to get involved and find the histories and develop all their characters. Likewise, TV shows are often half an hour long. Sitcoms, soap operas revolve around quickly recognisable, easily identifiable characters and often these use stereotypes. The newspapers and magazines, again, will often use stereotypes to help us quickly understand something as an audience. And of course, advertising, perhaps the most fleeting of all media, has perhaps 30 seconds and maximum of one minute in uh, its audio visual form on TV or at the cinema for us to understand a product or a lifestyle or even an idea. So stereotypes are used constantly. We're going to use the case study of Scousers as our stereotype, using this four part construction of making or building a stereotype. And the type of media we're gonna look at are virals, which are often humorous images that are sent around the internet, passed from person to person, much like in the way a virus does. So the first element of a stereotype, first part of a stereotype, if you like, is used to use appearance. This can include physical appearance and clothing, as well as the sound of the voice. So in terms of the Scouser stereotype, what we've seen over the years is obviously thick Liverpool accent, curly hair and moustache. And here are just two virals that use appearance as part of their stereotype. First of all, we have the Scouse wig and moustache on all of the football fans in the stadium, playing on these kind of visual ideas. The second, Viral is an image of a computer keyboard which has all of its letters replaced by the letter A and where there should be tab and shift and caps lock for the words calm down. Some of these stereotypes have been perpetuated over the years in different forms. Most easily recognisable and memorable would be Harry Enfield's television show with the three sketch characters, the three Scousers. These virals also play on the idea of behaviour, which is typical things that people in that group, in this case Scousers, do. Obviously a fixation with football. Other behavioural elements that get stereotyped when it comes to Scousers is uh, identified here in these virals, the office chair up on bricks and the aeroplane um, supported um, implying that the wheels have been stolen, playing on a stereotype that theft and robbery is prevalent in Liverpool. The stereotype has to be constructed in a way that fits that particular medium. Now in this case, the stereotype constructed of Scousers is comedic. It's meant to have a comic effect. And that's what we expect from virals. Viral images are often quick, easily understood, humorous images. And this also means there's a comparison with normality. We get the jokes and we understand them because we know what a real keyboard looks like. We know what a real office chair looks like, a normal foot football stadium, and so on and so forth. 